So hi everyone and welcome to this video of uh, us illustrating what a cartel looks like uh, using an actual example uh, using calculus. So uh, we're given here with a problem. So suppose firms produce a homogeneous product and the market demand for that homogeneous product is P is equal to 120 minus 3Q, right? 3Q where Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So we have a duopoly case and uh, there are only two firms that produce that good. And each firm has a marginal cost function equal to uh, these respectively. So uh, the question is, suppose the two firms decided to form a cartel uh, in a manner that they want to act like a singular monopolist, uh, we would need to determine the optimal total output of the cartel the output for each member of the cartel, and the price at which each member of the cartel should price their output at. So if you recall from our discussion, the first order condition of the cartel to be able to maximize profit requires that the cartel be able to allocate production between the two member firms so that the marginal costs are equal and the total marginal cost equals the cartel's maximum, or I'm sorry, marginal revenue. And mathematically, it requires that, so the marginal revenue of the cartel should be equal to the marginal cost of firm one, should be equal to the marginal cost of firm two, should be equal to the total marginal cost of the cartel, right? So they should all be equal. And to arrive at this profit maximizing solution, the FOC for a maximum profit for a cartel, right? So we can break this down, right? So that FOC is in generally MRCQ, marginal revenue, equal to marginal cost. So our age-old condition, similar to a monopolist, where Q, capital Q, is just Q1 plus Q2. Okay, so we need to derive a couple of things first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the marginal revenue first. So if you recall, the marginal revenue of the cartel is equal to essentially its inverse demand function plus uh, this form right here, right? So if you recall the discussion on monopolies, you will get this expression. So we can compute for that easily. Our demand function is 120 minus 3q okay that's 120 minus 3q and uh, we have here um, uh, this form here which is q so this is times q i'm sorry plus q rather so plus q times uh dp over dq that's negative three right which should be equal okay this should be equal to uh, 120 minus, uh, so this is going to be negative 3q, right, this entire thing. So negative 3 plus negative 3, that's 6q. So this is your marginal cost of the cartel. So this is, M I'm sorry, marginal revenue of the cartel. And uh, what we would need to do is we would need to equate this to marginal cost, okay? Uh, in particular, the common marginal cost of the cartel. So how do we get that um, common marginal cost? Well, we're going to get the horizontal sum of the marginal cost of the two member firms. And to do that, we need to invert the marginal cost of each member firm by letting... So we let, uh, we let MC1 equal to MC2 is equal to MCC. So our MC1 equal to 10 plus 20 Q1, this will be MCC equal to 10 plus 2 Q1. Then your MC2, which is equal to 60 plus 5 Q2, we would transform this to MCC equal to 60 plus 5 Q2. So if so, let's call this uh, equation 1. This is equation 2. So if we manipulate equation 1, Okay, so uh, we're going to isolate out Q1, so we transpose 10 to the other side. Okay, uh, then we divide all of uh, all of these, so sorry, this is 20, right? So this is 20. Uh, we're going to isolate everything with respect to Q1, and we're going to get Q1 equal to MCC, 
all over 20, right? Because that's a coefficient. We're going to divide everything by that. Minus 1 half, which is 10 divided by 20. Then the second one will be Q2 equal to MCC over 5 minus 12. So we transpose the 60 here. Then we divide both by 5. That's why this is by 5. 60 divided by 5, that's just negative 12. Then what we do is the horizontal sum, the horizontal sum of uh, MC1, Q1, and MC2, Q2, is just, uh, if we do Q1 plus Q2, so notice they're, they're now all just functions of MCC. So that's going to be MCC over 20 minus 1 half plus MCC over 5 minus 12. And uh, we know that this is Q, right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to combine the like terms. So this one and this one I can combine. So the least common denominator is 20. So this is going to be 5. MCC over 20 minus, uh, I combine this and I combine that, that's going to be 25 over 2, right? 25 over 2. Then I can simplify this and I can get MCC. So this one will be 5, uh, so this is uh, 5 MCC. Okay, uh, that, uh, if I isolate out everything with respect to MCC, Right, uh, so I'm going to manipulate everything. I'm going to get MCC being equal to 4Q plus 50. Right, so I just rearrange this one, this expression here. I rearrange it with respect to MCC and I can get that expression there. Then we know that uh, the FOC requires this condition. So we're just going to do that. That's going to be one. Uh, so this is MRC equal to MCC. So that's 120 minus 6q equal to 4q plus 50. Therefore, um, q star is equal to, so if I transpose this, this one becomes, uh, that's going to be 10q. Transpose that to the other side, that's going to be equal to 70. Then divide both sides by 10, q star is equal to 7. So that's the optimal total output. But we need to determine, right? We need to determine what is the optimal output of each firm. And to do that, we just need to compute for a value for MCC and plug it into equations one and two. So if you recall, right, if we plug in seven here, so MCC star, this is four times seven plus 50, which would be equal to 78. Then we're going to plug in the 78 to each one here. So this is 78 over 20 minus 1 half. And this is equal to 3.4. So this is the output of firm 1. Then uh, 78 over 5 minus 12. This is equal to 3.6, which is the output of firm 2. Right. So... Uh, those are the individual outputs. And again, 3.4 plus 3.6, an easy way to check if you've gotten the right answer is if you add Q1 plus Q2, this should equal to 7. So does it uh, equal to 7? And yes, so 3.4 plus 3.6 is equal to 7. So the answer is correct. Then if you recall, right, the optimal price at which, uh, at which each member firm should sell their output is obtained by merely substituting the optimal total cartel output in the demand curve, which is faced by the cartel. So it, it means that both of them will sell, will sell it the same product at the same price. So one price will prevail. And we do that by just plugging into the market demand. So P is equal to 120 minus 3Q. We know that Q is equal to 7, so that's 120 minus 3 times 7. We get a P star equal to 99. So uh, that's our example uh, using calculus of a cartel. And um, th this ends our discussions on cartels. And in the next video, we're going to discuss a different type of collusive oligopoly, which deals with price leadership. And I think that's a, that's a more interesting topic. And I hope to see you in those sets of videos. So thank you for your attention. And I'll see you in the next video.